Hey, this is Alvin. WWF has one of the most recognized logos in the world, a giant panda. The prototype of the panda named Chi Chi, or in Chinese name, Chi Chi. She was first found and captured in Baoji County, Sichuan, and that's where the name comes from. She was later sent to Beijing Zoo. At that time, the leader of the Soviet Union visited China. Chinese government decided to pick a pair of panda as a diplomatic gift, a male panda, Ping Ping and a female panda, Chi Chi. Both pandas were later sent to Moscow Zoo. And of course, the local people expect to have a, you know, panda cubs. The average breeding age is five years old for giant panda. They were too young to have a babies. What comes worst? They think both pandas are male. So Chinese government replaced Chi Chi with another panda, An An. They brought Chi Chi back to Beijing Zoo and sent An An to Moscow. In 1958, an Austrian animal merchant, Henny Dammer, he came with a mission. He made an agreement with Chicago Zoo that he will be paid $25,000 if he bring a giant panda back to states. So what did he do? He brought a group of African animals. <laughs> so he came with three giraffes, two hippos, two zebras, so he walked into the zoo and there were three pandas there. Uh, he decided to pick the youngest, a female panda, Chi Chi. What he didn't know, after he got a panda, he cannot bring it to America. Under the Cold War, US extended embargo to a giant panda, so Chi Chi wasn't allowed to enter US soil. He was considered as a red communist panda. So there's nowhere for Chi Chi to go. Zimmer has to just find a new home for Chi Chi. He brought Chi Chi to Berlin, Copenhagen, and London. At that time, the Berlin Wall was still there. So first they visited East Germany and then West Germany. It took a lot of paperwork for Chi Chi to cross the Berlin Wall. She was a charm everywhere she goes, and she received a lot of attention from the public and the local media. In the end, she arrived at London Zoo. The original plan was to stay there three weeks, but it was impossible to keep a rare pan animal wandering around Europe. So London Zoo had to discuss with uh, Chicago Zoo. In the end, both countries decided to make a joint investment to pay a commission 12,000 pounds to Zimmer. So, she should get permission to stay in London Zoo. The zoologists didn't know so much about panda, so when Chi Chi first arrived, they gave a lot treat to Chi Chi. Chi Chi actually get sweet potatoes, chocolate, and tea. In spring, Chi Chi's fur gets really beautiful and shiny. Her behavior changed. The zoo knew it's a time to find a groom. It's difficult to find a, a male panda outside of China. There was only one in North Korea and Russia. So and the panda in Moscow Zoo came to the first choice. During the Cold War, it's difficult to ship any goods from London to Moscow. A lot of communication between the higher up official, a lot of paperwork, and uh, it was a big deal at the time. In 1966, the news of Chi Chi's trip to Moscow spread widely. It was a headline news at that time. Chi Chi took a passenger plane to meet An An in Moscow. There were so many reporters, local media, waiting in the Moscow airport. The reporter were watch AV move of Chi Chi and looking for a sign that maybe they'll like each other, they will have a um, mate or have babies. The blind date didn't go so well. The boy liked the girl. But Chi Chi didn't like the boy at all. Uh, she would bark at him. In the end, they sent Chi Chi home to London. The zoologist tried again, and this time they sent An An to London Zoo. Uh, after the both pandas spent nine months together, 
-hmm. It didn't work out so well, they didn't like each other, so they had to split them again. People will actually believe maybe Chi Chi think herself as a human because she spent so much time with human beings. She didn't know herself as a panda, so they actually put a mirror in her pen. So Chi Chi can observe and see the difference. During Chi Chi's stay in London, one of WWF founding members visit her and it gave him an idea to draw a draft. Chi Chi passed away in 1972. Media and people across Britain mourn for her death because she brought so much joy to London people. They later study her remains. Pathologists dissect her body and later we learn so much giant pandas from her. One of the things we learned is uh, we knew we know pandas can actually see colors after we study her eyes. Specimen makers keep her bones and her skin and made a specimen of her. The visitors can see her sitting on the ground of the North Hall in Natural Museum of London. After Chi Chi, it's prohibited to train a giant panda. She was actually the last one to train. So if you haven't visited London, make sure to visit Chi Chi Natural Museum. Chi Chi told us so much about giant panda and perhaps she's the most recognized and well-known panda in the world. The logo, thanks to the logo. So if you like the video, make sure to upvote and share it. Let me know what you think about it and leave the comments down below. Thank you for watching, until next time.